Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. So the seasons have changed, it's officially October, and I bought a bunch of new clothes for the autumn and winter seasons, and I wanted to share. So I have a rather large stack of clothing to talk about. Most of it is thrifted. I went to a lot of different secondhand and thrift stores in the month of September. So that's what a majority of this clothing is going to be, but I thought I would start with the few things that weren't thrifted so that you can kind of get those things out of the way. I'm gonna be talking about a couple things from Hot Topic and a couple things from Forever 21. But yeah, the seasons have changed, it's cold outside, and let's talk about all of the clothing that I have purchased to, to mark that change. We're gonna start with Forever 21 and talk about the few things that I got there. Mostly I have accessories, including this hat. This is really, that's really all I had to say about the hat. It's very cozy and gray and it stuck out to me. I grabbed it when I was heading to checkout and I love it. I really needed a new, really soft winter cap and this one fits well. My hats have to be stretchy because they have to fit around my glasses and not like cause headaches and this one is perfect for that So I'm very glad that I got it The next thing I want to talk about is also an accessory that I'm I'm so in love with and that is these boots These are high-heeled boots. They're made of this lovely suede fabric and I adore them They tie really tight and fit nicely around my ankles and they have kind of a thicker heel so I mean, I've worn them a couple of times already and I don't feel my feet starting to hurt that much, which is good. Plus, I love this color. They're like brown, almost verging on orange, and I just think that they go with so much stuff. This is my second pair of boots that I purchased from Forever 21 and I just, I love Forever 21 boots. I think they're fantastic. And the last thing I have from Forever 21 is not a fall or winter item, but it's a thing I bought, so I'm gonna talk about it. And it's this crop top. I've been after a shirt with a good rainbow on it because I'm gay and I like rainbows. And this is just a really nice crop top. This is actually a large. Doesn't seem like a large. Oh, Forever 21, your sizing is so off. But it is a really nice length. It's super soft. I love Forever 21's crop tops. So I saw this one for cheap and I grabbed it. Even though it is totally out of season, I'll just layer it in a bunch of coats and I'll have a cold tummy and that's all there is to it. Next, I wanna talk about two things that I got from Hot Topic. First up, I have a long sleeve pullover. Now, I had an old shirt that said Central Perk. It has been in many of videos. It is gray and it is also falling apart. I bought it at Primark two years ago, over two years ago, and it's it's just crumbling, which is to be expected when you buy a really cheap shirt from Primark. So when I saw that Hot Topic had some new Central Perk shirts in that I could finally replace my old one with, I grabbed this one. This one is one size up for me, so it's a little bit oversized, but that's how I like it. I like it tucked in just a little bit. It's a little long on my arms, which is perfect for this time of year. And yeah, it's just cozy, and I love the show Friends, so. That's why I got it. The other thing that I got from Hot Topic, I didn't actually buy for myself. It was a gift from my friends and it's a gift that highlights just how well my friends know me. It is a short sleeve button down covered with tortoises. Those who know me will know that I wear almost exclusively button downs. I'm particularly a fan of the short sleeve button down and I love Doctor Who so very much. So this is basically a perfect gift for me. It fits a little oversized. I think I like it like that. If I want it taken in a little bit, then my mom can, can take it in a little on the sides. But I think just rolled up and tucked, it's so cute. And yeah, this shirt is everything to me. My friends understand me and I, I adore this. So now let's talk about everything else, which was thrifted. All of it. it there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. So first up, another CC standard. The plaid shirt. This has already appeared in a video because I love it very much. What's really exciting is that I can almost make a rainbow out of all of my long sleeve button downs, so it's pretty exciting and peak gay, honestly. So first of all, the color of this grabbed me when I saw it at the thrift store, the dark blue with a little bit of orange going through it. Such a fan of that, but also as soon as I grabbed the sleeve, I realized it was the softest shirt I've ever touched in my life. I'm a sucker for a good soft plaid shirt. This is my ultimate fall gear. I had to resist buying a lot more plaid. There was so much. I was being pulled away from it forcefully by my sister, but I did manage to grab this one for honestly, I think like $5, which was a really great deal on a shirt that is basically new. Next up, we have this pink thermal top, which is just like a fall staple. This is a dusty pink. It's really, really nice. When I was still in college, I basically lived in thermal tops. So I've been trying to steer clear of that more this year, try to branch out a bit, but I saw this one and it felt like 
such an easy fall staple that I couldn't resist. And it is just so unbelievably cozy. Oh, it is so cozy. Speaking of cozy, I have another sweatshirt I want to talk about. It is this one. So at first glance, you're just like, oh, a white sweatshirt with kind of like a nice pattern on it. But what is amazing about this pattern when you get it close up is that it's actually teeny tiny kitties. This is just so deeply on brand for me. I love sweatshirts and I wear them constantly. And to find one with like a subtle cat theme to it was just fate. This is actually a Vans sweatshirt and it's really high quality, almost new, and I'm a sucker for cats on shirts. I'll be honest with you. What do we have left? Sweaters and coats. That's what's left. So actually now I guess I should talk about the sweater that I'm currently wearing. I love this striped sweater. It's a little less soft than some of my other sweaters that I picked up, but I think it makes up for it in the cut and in the color. Plus, it's just long enough on my hands that they can be cozy. This is my favorite length of sleeves for sweaters. I really like the sweater on its own, but I've also been experimenting with layering it a bit with some of my other button downs, and it looks really nice that way too, which makes me very, very happy. It just makes me feel cozy. I put it on to film this video, and I immediately wanted to put on fuzzy socks and curl up under a blanket, which is exactly the feeling that I I think you should get whenever you put on any sweater. Another item of clothing that has also already appeared in a video is this orange sweater. I wore this in my TBR and wrap-up videos at the beginning of the month and I got like so many comments about this sweater. I'm glad you guys like it. I like it too. My favorite thing about this sweater, besides the color, which is very autumnal, is the kind of changing patterns up and down it. I just think it's a really nice bit of detail that makes this a little extra special. Plus, the sweater is cropped. It hits right at the top of my high-waisted pants, which is almost all I wear. I wear high-waisted everything, and that makes it even more perfect for me. I just feel like it's harder to find cropped sweaters, and so I'm very grateful for this one. Oh, I was so happy to find this one. So this is a really cool burgundy sweater. It's originally from American Eagle. Um, I own a couple of things from American Eagle, but it usually means I bought it on the clearance rack because I cannot afford it. But I love this sweater for its color and its coziness, but also this cool little zipper detail down here at the bottom. There is a zipper on either side of it, and I just think that it's a really cool thing to make a sweater stand out. Like, I love sweaters, but they, after a certain point, all start to blend together. They're just different colors of the same kind of thing. So anything like that, that kind of detail to make it stand out, just really pleases me. Plus, because it's American Eagle, this is super soft, and that is always what I am after. Alright, last sweater. It is just a simple gray one. This is originally from The Gap. This one just felt like another essential staple piece for the new season. It's just easy and comfortable, but also it does have some ribbing that comes in on the sides that makes it a little bit more slimming. I'm a really big fan of that detail. And I mean, what else can I say? It's a gray sweater that fits me really well, and it makes me feel warm and ready for cold weather. The last four things I'm going to talk about are all jackets and coats. So first up, my new staple jacket. I have been wearing this absolutely every day. First of all, I love the red plaid inside, but also I have been looking for an army green jacket that fits me well for such a long time. I have really short arms, so when it comes to shopping for jackets and coats, it can get infuriating real fast. This actually fits me really well, plus it's pulled in on the sides, like it's it's tapered in so it fits a little closer, which I love. This jacket is just everything good. I cannot believe my luck in finding this. Oh, I do have one more thing that's not thrifted. Oops. So I have this uh, faux leather jacket. I actually got this from Burlington, which like also a good place to find cheaper clothing, but it's, it's not a thrift store. It's Burlington Coat Factory. The thing that drew me to this faux leather jacket is clearly the inside, which is the softest thing that I have ever touched. It is glorious. But also, I just think that this has a lot of great detailing and it's not too long on my arms. I have never found a leather coat that was not too long on my arms in my life. My least favorite aspect of this jacket is the hood, but it's removable, so this is just like perfect for me. I love it! I also had to get a new snow coat. So much of my winter clothing is in storage on the East Coast, and so I really had to get a lot of essentials that I already owned, but they're in storage. So I picked up a new winter coat, and I love this one so very much. I live in Utah in the mountains. It is snowy and freezing, and so you need a good thick winter coat. And also I really like there's this detailing on the sleeves 
with this little band of brown. That detailing is also on the pocket and right near the zipper, and I think it just pulls it together to make this a really nice coat, but also a really warm one. I have one more coat to talk about, and it is very out of left field for me, very unexpected in my brand of clothing wearing, and it is this red plaid coat. First of all, I have never really been a person to have a lot of different coat and jacket options. I got like one jacket and one coat. So the fact that I have multiples, that's weird. Uh, the fact that it's a bright color is unusual for me. I like wearing bright colors, but not in my coats. And like I said, I prefer things to be really cropped because I'm short, but I tried this on and it was just perfect and so I bought it. I've styled it with a few different outfits at this point and I really feel more confident about it the more that I try it on with other stuff. So completely out of the norm for me, nothing I would have ever normally purchased as a coat option, but I think I'm really gonna like wearing this this winter. I also think it's gonna look great with like really big scarves. I don't own any real big scarves, but for this coat, I'm gonna go out and buy a couple. Okay guys, there you go. Those are all of the things that I have purchased clothing-wise for uh, autumn and winter. It's a big stack, but like I said, most of it was thrifted, so this was actually not that expensive as a seasonal haul. Plus, my grandmother bought a couple of the coats for me because she didn't want me to be cold this winter. So what do you think of my clothing purchases? Do you have a favorite item that I picked up? Please let me know down in the comments below and let me know if more fashion videos for me are a thing that you are interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!